tough choice with Kazim Rahman. Would you rather? Tough choice. Only be able to wipe your tough choice by scooting around on the carpet. Tough choice. Tough choice. What kind of carpet is it? <laughs> <laughs> if it's alpaca, give me the uh, carpet. Welcome back, guys. This is Tough Choice. I am your host, Kazim Rahman. On the hot seat today, you saw the title. It's me. We are doing one of our deep dive episodes. We do this at the end of every month. Most of the time we do this at the end of every month. Unless we have a special guest, we go through some what would you do's. We go through some would you rather's really deep into the pros and cons of each. So you know how we do here. We don't really waste any time. The game is tough choice. Must pick between the two choices. You must explain yourself. You get one pass. You get one pause. Let's start <laughs> the show. Let it begin. Let Begin. Now, guys, it is time for the final choice of our constant choice. <laughs> constant. Everyone in the month gets the same first question. This is this month was pretty good. You know what I mean? I I liked this constant choice. This was a a audience. I think this was an audience submitted one that we kind of were like, we don't want to use this for the audience submission episodes anymore. We kind of want to use that for the constant choice. So. This month's constant choice. Constant. Would you rather live in a world where houses are made of sweets and candies or in a place where buildings float in the sky and are accessed through hot air balloons only? So pros and cons of both. If I live in a place where buildings are made of sweets and candies, well, no, let's backtrack because words matter here it doesn't say buildings are made of sweets and candies it says houses are made of sweets and candies buildings can be made of whatever roads can be made of whatever cars can be made of whatever cars are made of but houses are made of sweets and candies now it's not just your house which is the only pro that i see in this kind of situation i would say that the mm, I would say the con is that it's made of sweets and candies, but the pro is that every house is made of sweets and candies. So if you feel like, you know, I don't want my house to only be made of sweets and candies, well, it's everyone's house, everyone's house, everyone's apartment building. Cool. Well, no, no, no. Do apartment, do apartments count? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm going to say? No. I'll be fair. Houses are made of sweets and candies. Apartments are made of bricks, so I'm just probably going to live in an apartment, right? Now, if I'm in an area where the buildings float in the sky and I have to access through them, access through them, access them from a hot air balloon, I think travel time is going to get even worse than it already is in Los Angeles, only because sometimes a hot air balloon, you can't really... Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how hot air balloons work. So I'm assuming you can't steer a hot air balloon. I'm just assuming, right? I'm assuming you just go up in the air and you're like, okay, well, now we're going to wait for the wind to to do something, right? So I'm just like, ah, I don't really want to. LA traffic is already trash and people can direct where they're going. So if you're telling me, that I have to hop in a balloon just to go to a quick meeting or go to the office or go to my doctor's office. Oof. Let's say hypothetically someone is pregnant. Let's say hypothetically they're having the baby. They're going to have to hop in a hot air balloon. They're having the baby in the, in the balloon. You want to have a baby in the, that would be kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That would be kind of cool if someone had a baby in the balloon, but I don't know, man. I don't think most people would want to do that. So for the final choice of this constant choice, I'm going to choose the houses made of candy. And even if apartment buildings are made of candy and sweets also, I'll still choose that simply because I think after like maybe six to seven months, people will calm down because the first six to seven months, let's be honest, I'm, I'm going to be eating bits and pieces of my house and everyone else's house just to try it. Right. I wonder, I wonder what Kanye's house is going to taste like. I don't know. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll get that, you know, 
when you're a billionaire, you'll get the you'll get the cool candy. You'll get the really cool candy. So we'll see. I'm gonna choose the candy. That is our constant choice. Constant. Let us continue. Would you rather be able to turn any object into chocolate once a day or have the power to create a bouquet of flowers appear whenever you compliment someone? I'll read that again. Would you rather be able to turn any object into chocolate once a day or have the power to make a bouquet of flowers appear whenever you compliment someone? That's that's interesting. On one hand, yes, I love chocolate. I'm a foodie. Whew, okay, I just yawned. I love chocolate. I'm a foodie. Now... Because I'm a foodie, I know that the best chocolate, if I can make like some Ghirardelli's show up, I don't know where, like from like Wonka Chocolate Factory stuff, if I can just make some chocolate show up out of nowhere, it's highly unlikely I will ever have a bad day. Ever. I don't think I'll ever have a bad day if I can wake up and be like, I'm going to have steak and eggs. And then after that, I'm going to have some chocolate. And that'll be my life. Every morning I get to make chocolate appear, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'll never be in a bad mood, right? At the same time, as a stand-up comedian, I get in trouble almost every day with various people, right? So if I say a joke that's bad or a joke that's controversial or a joke that is inconsiderate to a certain group of people all i have to do is have a meeting with those people compliment someone boom flowers right i forget someone i forget a friend's birthday oh my bad bro by the way i like your shoes boom flowers i forget my wife's birthday oh i'm so sorry baby right also i like your hair today boom flowers Done. I think I'm going to go with the flowers. Yes, I know that you wouldn't have a bad day with this chocolate, but man, if I have flowers, I think I think that the possibilities of me getting in trouble are are done. Are done. If I know I can get you some flowers, especially if you know I can just get flowers cuz I'm just going to use it as a precautionary measure also. Right before I'm even in trouble, you've already gotten 17 flowers for the past 20 days. You've already gotten flowers from me. So even if I get in trouble, you're going to remember, oh, no, but he, he do be getting me flowers. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to do the flowers. I got to do flowers on this one. The chocolate is great, but I got to do flowers. Would you rather live in a world where your age is reversed for a day whenever you donate to charity or in a world where every time you volunteer, you gain a random new skill. The only problem I have with this question is how many skills do I need? How many skills do I need? And is, is a language a skill? Because if a skill is just like, oh, I can play the harmonica or I can play the ukulele or I can play guitar or I can juggle. I don't, after a while, right, right there, I just ran out of skills. Now, but if we're saying that a new language can be called a skill, then yeah, I'll volunteer. I'll volunteer and I'll learn English, Arabic, Spanish, German, Portuguese, right? I'll learn, I don't, listen, in Canada, they speak English, but it's a Canadian English, so it's like weird. So I can learn Canadian English, British English, right? The national language of Nigeria is technically English, but it's different. So I'll learn Nigerian English. Let's go, baby. Let's go. If, that, if that's a skill, I'm learning these skills because I don't care to like live forever. So I don't really care to like reverse age. I enjoy be getting older. 
I enjoy the gray hairs that I have. I enjoy, I have like four gray hairs on my chin right now. It's great. One in one gray hair in my nose. It's it feels like I have wisdom. These boogers have wisdom. You know what I mean? So I don't need to reverse age. I don't see the point in reverse aging, honestly. Right? I know there are people out there that want to get like the plastic surgery. They want to like get like the blood infusions. They want to do all the things. But I don't think that that would be something that I would even be interested in, to be honest with you. All right. Would you rather be in a relationship where every I love you must be expressed through a unique handmade gift or where every date is a surprise adventure that neither of you know about until it begins? This is hard. Because I don't like surprises. I will say this. I cannot make things with my hands. I can cook. I can cook very well. I'm not a chef, but I can cook. But if you ask me to show love through a handmade thing, I'm going to fail immediately. I'm going to get an F minus or something, D something. I don't know. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. Handmade? Handmade gift? Nah, man. I don't think I can do that. Well, the only way you can show love has to be through a unique handmade gift. Not even just a handmade gift. Something unique. I can't just get a piece of paper and make an origami. I have to make something so unique Every single time. Already, I don't like that. The problem with the second option is that I don't like surprises, right? If every date is an adventure that I don't even know what's going on, right? So we just hop in a car and we drive to a place and then suddenly adventure time, right? Ah, that's going to be scary only because I don't like, I like adventure. I don't like surprises. So if we're talking about surprise adventure, I think, I think I'll take it only because I can't do the handmade thing, right? Because I'm going to fail. I already know I'm going to fail. So if it's handmade, I don't think that that will be, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do the adventure. It's going to suck, right? One day we're going to go hiking. The next day we're going to go to a haunted house. The next day, well, some of these adventures might be good now that I'm really thinking about it. Because what is your idea of an adventure? An adventure to me is going through Tokyo, right? Exploring the city of New York, right? Going to the Bronx, going to the Grand Canyon, an adventure, right? Hey, man, walking through Oakland, that'd be, that's an adventure, right? So what is an, whatever an adventure is to you is the type of adventure that's going to happen, right? And I think that that's... That's how I'll do it. So I'll do the adventure. I, I really am doing the adventure because I can't make anything handmade. But, I mean, I'll do the adventure. All right. Let's go through some what would you do's. While digging in a forest, you find evidence of an ancient alien civilization. You could keep the technology for yourself and become rich or share it with the world and stay poor. What do you do? You already know what I'm going to do. Become rich. I'll be honest. Here's what I'm going to do. I would keep the technology to myself. I would become rich for five to seven years. After five to seven years, after I've made, made, made my money, right? And I'm talking about money, money, like my kids, kids, kids are fine, right? I want to make enough money in my lifetime where my kids, kids, kids don't technically have to work like a Rockefeller. Someone whose last name is Rockefeller does not need to have a job, right? Someone whose last name is Hilton, technically they're only working because they don't want to sit around and do nothing all day, right? That's, that's the type of legacy I want to give, right? So I'm going to wait till the ancient civilization. I want to stay rich, 
And then I want to give back. I, I do like giving back to the community. I do like giving back to the world. If it's a technology that I think, if it's like one of those technologies that can turn salt water, turn any water into drinkable water, then yeah, I'm going to make my money and then I'm going to give it off to the different governments that would need it. Yeah, no problem. Not a problem at all. A man jumps with a gun. I'm going to read that again because this is silly and quick. A man with a gun jumps into your taxi, right? I'm jumping out immediately and asks you to drive him around while he takes care of small business. He promises to only hurt bad guys and you can trust him. What do you do? I'm going to take him to the first place. Then I'm, I'm dropping him off and then I'm running. I'm running. He's already in my cab. Right. So what I'm probably going to do as soon as he gets into the cab with the gun, if I see the gun, I'm getting out of the cab. The problem is that I'm probably wearing my seatbelt. So I don't think I can just move immediately. You know, I'm hoping if it's a taxi, it depends on the situation. Really, now, now that I'm really thinking about it, it depends on the situation. If I'm picking him up in a, a very busy area then I'm getting out of the car. If I'm picking him up in a non-busy area, then I'll do what he says, right? And as soon as he gets out the car, I'm probably going to run, right? If he's like a, a bad guy, ah, knowing me and me and my planning ways, if I'm a bad guy and I have a gun and I need a taxi, I'm taking the keys um, every single time I get out the car, so he's stuck there, right? So I can take care of my business. So I don't know. I think I would just prepare myself to die, honestly. Honestly, in this kind of situation, I don't think I'm getting out alive, even though if he tells me, oh, no, listen, I know this gun seems scary, but I'm only hurting bad people. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. Because then now you don't want a paper trail, right? Paper trail means I'm going to die. You don't want witnesses. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You're abducted by aliens and flown away in a ship. Wow. They promise to bring you somewhere amazing and you'll love it. I don't believe that. Along the way, you discover aliens are allergic to human hair. What do you do? I'm already in the ship. I don't want to die. So, I mean, what, are they, what does that mean, allergic to human hair? I'm... My hair is very short, so I have hair in my beard, and that's about it. Mustache, there's hair, there's like little tiny specks of hair. I would have to pull out a hair follicle and do what? Like touch them with it? I don't, what does it mean allergic? Are they going to die? And also, I don't want to crash the ship. I don't know, how, if it's an alien ship, I don't know how to fly a spaceship, bro. So knowing that... I'm going to kill them with my human hair. And then who's going to fly the ship? Again, just like the last one, I'm probably just going to be preparing myself to die. Honestly, there's a lot of preparing myself to die in this episode, but we'll see. You're a fighter pli pilot. You see a UFO flying toward North Korea. You want to follow, but it means flying into enemy territory. I want to follow. What do you do? I want to follow, but it means flying in enemy territory. That is the dumbest. Why would I want to follow? This clearly isn't about me then. Some of these questions I think I, I read and I'm like, mm, I wouldn't do that. I would never do that in the first place. So there is no what would you do because I wouldn't be there. That's what I would do. I just wouldn't be there. I'm a fighter pilot and I'm in... I'm, I'm clearly probably in South Korea and I see a UFO. I would just report it and go on about my day. That's what I would do. I would report it and then I would go on about my day. It wouldn't be a problem. And I don't, I'll never understand why people don't mind their own business. I'll never understand. If it's not affecting me, hey amen. I'm good, fam. I'm not going around following UFOs 
again, if I follow the UFO and I'm going into enemy territory, I'm just going to prepare myself to die. What do you think is going to happen if I go into enemy territory? They're going to shoot my plane down. Well, first, they're going to, they're going to, you know, make contact with me and say, hey, land this plane or we, or you will die. Right. And then I have two choices. Either they're going to try to kill me or I can, I have three choices. I can try to escape. I can fight and still get the UFO or I'm going to die or I can land. Right. So that was like four choices. Knowing me, I know I'm going to be outgunned. I'm going to land. And then I'm going to be in a Korean jail interrogated for the rest of my life. Who do you think would be worse to me, aliens or North Koreans? I'm thinking North Koreans. I'm thinking North Koreans. I don't know why I feel like it. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's going to be North Koreans that are worse. But I'm thinking North Koreans. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, again, I'm going to prepare myself to die if I go into enemy territory. That's insane. That's insane. I will just mind my own business, right? Even if they say, oh, you want to go, but... You, if you go, I want to go. Why do I want to go? That before, before even the, if you go, you'll be in enemy territory. I stopped at, you want to follow. No, I don't. No, I don't want to follow a UFO. I'm good, fam. I'm good. I am good. I don't want to do that. All right. That was, what would you do? I need to have a sound effect for that. Email toughchoice at outlook.com. Give me a sound effect. What would you do? And we need a sound effect for final choice. I keep slacking on that. We'll figure it out. Tough choice at outlook.com. That is tough choice at outlook.com. Like, share, subscribe to this podcast. Share it with your friends. We are growing on Instagram and stuff like that. Would you rather have a job where you get paid in future travel opportunities, trips to destinations of your choice, or one where your salary increases every time you make a new friend. That is so heartwarming, right? So if I get paid in travel opportunities, the problem with that is that trips to the Bahamas don't pay my rent. End of discussion. That's it, really. That's the only thing that Trips to the Bahamas. If I if you send me to Barbados, right, and I meet Rihanna, I I'm gonna have to come home and pay rent. If you send me to Cancun for a spring break, I still have to come home and pay rent. But if you're telling me my salary is going to increase every time I just make a new friend, every single day. I'm going to go to an old folks home and make me a friend. I'm just going to pick one. Just pick one. Hey, Gladys, Gertrude. You know what I mean? Kyle. There's a, there's always an old folks home guy named Kyle. Right? Roger. Cuz old people don't have anything to do for the full day, so they're there and I can talk to them and I will make me a friend. Every single day every single day and then the very next morning they'll be like oh wow kazim i don't know why but i I gotta notice that we're just gonna have to start paying you more and i'm gonna be like you damn right you're gonna have to start paying me more i'm a good worker i'm a damn good worker i'm not gonna tell them i went to an old folks home to make me a friend at all come on now come on now you know the game you know the game you know what i you know how i get down listen I'm going to go to hospitals. I'm going to go to old folks. I'm going to go to places where the people are there and they can't go nowhere. So they need a friend and I will be that friend and I will make bank. I will make bank. If my salary increases every time I make a new friend, I'm going to be the friendliest person in the world. I'm going to follow up. I'm going to have a separate cell phone. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to murder this friendship. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. Right? So yeah, I'm going to do that. Would you rather have the ability to speak to and understand birds, 
but they gossip about you. Or be able to breathe underwater, but fish constantly ask you for advice. I don't want to deal with no gossip. I'm too old for that. I'm too old for that. If I know that people are gossiping about me, already I'm 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 gonna be upset. I'm I let it roll off my tongue. Off my tongue. I let it roll off my shoulder, but I would still be a little I would feel a ways if I knew people were gossiping about me. Now you're telling me birds? Birds are gossiping about me. And the thing about birds is like they don't just stay where they are. They migrate. So if it's like hot, then they'll go north to where it's a little cooler. If it's getting too cold, they'll go south to where it's a little like warmer. So you can be gossiping about me in Chicago. Then you can go to Oklahoma. Then you can go to Houston. Then you can go to Cancun. Then you can go to Medellin, Colombia, all just gossiping about me. I'm good, fam. I'm good. I don't need to understand people that are going to gossip about me. At the same time, I, 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 don't need to, I don't need to know how to breathe in the water. I can swim. I don't care for it. Right? I know how to swim for survival. I don't swim as like an exercise or anything like that. So... It's like one of those things that I'm like, ah, what do I want to do? I will say, I don't need to, I don't need to know how to breathe underwater, but I'll do it. And if a fish wants to ask me for advice, I'll give him advice. I don't know how to advise a fish, right? Don't eat the shrimp. If it's in the middle of nowhere, there's most likely a very thin line connected to it and you will... You will become someone's dinner, right? So things like that, right? Don't go over there. There are sharks over there, right? You're going to be like, oh, I met this girl. She always be swimming by the shark. She don't get eaten, though. I'm like, it's only a matter of time, bro. It's only a matter of time before she gets eaten by sharks. You got to stay away from these women, these female fish that are trying to get with these sharks all the time. I would give, I would, I would give solid advice to a fish. Low key, I would give solid advice to a fish, right? You gotta, you gotta get your schools right, right? Because a, a large number of fish is called a school. You gotta stay out, out the way of sharks, stay out the way of dolphins too. Dolphins can get a little more aggressive than sharks sometimes. Dolphins run in packs, and a lot of times sharks run by themselves, right? I know there are some species of sharks that travel in groups and travel, you know, in one of those like uh, packs or whatever. I don't know how to explain a, what a pack of sharks are, like a shark is I don't know. If I make a word up in Tough Choice, then that's just the word now. shark is a group of sharks. End of discussion. And we'll move on from that. But I'm going to do the underwater, even though I don't need either power. I'm going to do the underwater. I'm going to give advice to fish. Last one. Would you... Rather have a magical umbrella that lets you float when it's open or shoes that make you invisible when you tap them together. I float is not fly. And that's important to note here. If I just have an umbrella, am I Mary Poppins? Because if I have an umbrella and I'm Mary Poppins, let's go. If I can fly, if my umbrella makes me fly away, I'm good. Let's do that. Let's do that, right? A magical umbrella. Also, how many magical umbrellas do I get? Because if I only get one magical umbrella, uh, I'm probably going to lose it. I'm either going to lose it or I'm going to get robbed, right? And if I have, someone has a gun in my face and I have to, like, shimmy around with my umbrella because my adrenaline, adrenaline is pumping. So i'm gonna have to shimmy around and try to get my umbrella and then i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna blast off immediately i'm just gonna start flying so i think they're just gonna be weirded out and they might shoot me just because they're scared right so i don't know i don't need to be invisible so i don't know if i need those shoes right i can sell those shoes on ebay oh i can sell both of them on ebay what do you think would make i think the shoes would make me more money because 
the umbrella just makes you float and not fly. So if I can demonstrate that the shoes will make me invisible, then I think I'm going to, I would have to do this. I would have to post it online. I would have to put it on like eBay. You know what I mean? I would do like, honestly, I would say 10 million, 10 million and someone's going to buy them. A, a Saudi something will buy these shoes, right? If it was 10 million, I'd put it on eBay. I think I'd make more money off the shoes than the umbrella. I don't care for either power. Honestly, I don't need to be invisible. I don't need to um, necessarily um, float. Floating is not flying. I'll say that again and again and again. Right? I don't care. Being invisible low-key is kind of creepy to me. You know what I mean? If no one sees you, then it's weird. It's weird. You can get hit by cars. You can People can run into you. People can, you know what I mean? Like people will accidentally punch you in the face. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know why someone would punch you in the face if you're invisible. I don't know where you are to be punched in the face if you are invisible. But, you know, and I would also say just, you know, click back to become um visible. So, yeah, I'm going to do the shoes and I'm going to sell them on eBay and I'm I'm probably going to make 10 million off of that. A qu- an easy 10 mil. Easy 10 mil. All right, guys, that is our episode. This has been Tough Choice with Kazim Iran. You can find me online at Kazim Comedy. That's K-A-Z-E-E-M Comedy. Like, share, subscribe to this podcast. We are growing and we love it. Our audio engineer is Queasy Leo. You can find him online at Ayo Queez on Instagram, on TikTok. Get at him for all your pod, uh, podcast audio and video needs. If you have a Tough Choice question or a hire, fire, retire, you want us to consider email toughchoice at outlook.com. That is toughchoice at outlook.com. I've been Kazim Rahman. You guys have been amazing. Bye. Tough choice with Kazim Rahman. Would you rather tough choice only be able to wipe your tough mind. choice by scooting around on the carpet? Tough choice, tough choice. What kind of carpet is it? <laughs> <laughs> if it's alpaca, give me the carpet.